Hello, so this is a video that I wanted to make pretty much uh, as soon as I started this YouTube channel. It was something that I really thought about, uh, and I definitely, I had to make this video. So uh, if you haven't noticed, I am covered in tattoos. It's something that I like, like I have tattoos on my arms and on my legs, and hopefully I will probably get my uh, stomach, maybe my chest, maybe my back, and nothing on my neck or hands, really, or face. But uh, again, so nothing on the face, hands, or neck. I gotta keep it, I gotta keep it professional to a certain degree. But I am very, I'm not gonna say I'm passionate about tattoos, even though I have a lot, but I do have a love for tattoos. And part of me feels like, so this is, a, this is kind of a rant video, uh, but part of me feels like my love for tattoos came from Yakuza culture. Uh, I was big, like huge into manga and anime. I've said that in other videos. That's something like I really love. So Japanese culture was something that I often did kind of look for and search for. But I think I have to admit that the kind of like my original idea and perception of what tattoos could be came from rappers. So there was kind of like that trend where you started to see, I want to say this was probably in like, 2000 and 2003 2004 and on you saw that trend where you would have rappers that were like sleeved out tatted out like tattoos on their chest on their neck and stuff like that and it became this thing uh, i think pharrell but this is kind of before that pharrell was like one of the first guys even though he wasn't really a rapper he was like one of the first guys that you saw that had a lot of tattoos and then you had, you know, you had artists, you had your Gucci Mane, you had Soldier Boy, Chris Brown, like a lot of these artists were just covered in head to toe in tattoos. And one of the things that I find really funny is as much as like the, I loved and admired those tattoos is like when you started to kind of get a closer view of them and as you got older, you were like, and I think that's just for a lot of people, because a lot of times, and this this is not a knock against them, but a lot of times as you get closer, you see that these tattoos are like fillers, there's like the clouds, there's like, they can often look like the, um, like a school desk. So it looks like a lot of gibberish. People may say that about some of my tattoos, that's fine. If that's how you feel, that's how you feel. But it's just really interesting. And it's kind of like, I think, unfortunately, the concept of the idea of why tattoos that black people get came from rappers. And they are unfortunately not the best, the most informative when it comes to tattoos because a lot of times they have money just to get, they had and have money just to get these terrible tattoos and then they get to cover up. And I think unfortunately a lot of black people, they don't get the information, so they go to people. Because one of the things that I really want to talk about is if someone tells you, when you go to a tattoo artist, and if the first thing that comes out of their mouth when they're talking to you is, I'm not sure how certain stuff is going to look because of your skin tone, do not go to that tattoo artist. I learned from experience. Um, I don't think I'd ever get those. I, well, I, I'm going to get, eventually I will get one of those tattoos covered up. But the other ones, it is kind of, is it, it's a learning experience. But again, if somebody says because of your skin tone, they're not sure how to handle going about tattoo, tattooing you, go the other direction. Go find somebody else. Go get somebody who is going to take care of you. And there's a lot of artists out there who are going to, who are going to take care of you. They're, they look at skin tones. They know how to take care of skin tones. They know how to do color on skin tones. Uh, I think we've seen a resurgence. And there's even, there's IG pages, there's Facebook pages, there's YouTube, where people are giving you the information to tell you where to go to tell you the tattoo artists to look for. And there's a huge number of tattoo artists who will take care of black skin. And I think that's really important. And I think the other thing when it comes to, um, when it comes to, to black people getting tattoos is I think we have to get rid of that 
this mindset of the tattoo man, the tat man. I, I'm not gonna knock the tat man, but I think if a, if you're a, calling yourself a tat man, you have to be a good tattoo artist because you are basically specifying that all you do is tattoos. You're the tat man. All you do is tattoos. So you should be proficient. You should be elite in tattoo art, artistry. Because we see a lot of people who they go to their tat man and they're getting these really cheap tattoos and then they end up looking like, yish. Like I'll put up a few examples, two major examples. Uh, one being this tattoo of this guy, this line that he got on his back. And he may love the tattoo, that's perfectly fine for him. But this tattoo is, jeez Louise. And I think also because it's so big. So it's like, I think there's, I think rappers sometimes it, they give people a false sense that you can amass all these tattoos in a quick period of time and you don't have to pay for it. You have to pay for your tattoos. You cannot cut corners when it comes to your tattoos, especially when they're big. Like if you're getting a big tattoo, like it shouldn't cost it. If you're getting a really like a tattoo, like the size of that lion, and if it costs you a hundred dollars, unless you this, unless it's just like your cousin, your brother, somebody you've known, somebody you took a bullet for, uh, somebody you loan, sometimes somebody you help build their tattoo artistry, no way. It's just it's not possible. And I think that's kind of like a false. There's a false sense that we can cut corners, or we should be we should be cutting corners. So again, unless you develop a really good relationship with your tattoo artists, where they are giving you discounts, and some tattoo artists will do that. Not all, but some tattoo artists, if you develop a really good relationship, they'll give you discounts on really good tattoos. You should not be cutting corners. So if like if your tattoo person says that their minimum is five hundred, it's five hundred because you are paying for a good artist. You are paying for the artistry. You're paying for them to put something on your body that's going to be on your body forever. You're paying for somebody who has the knowledge and skills to do so. And again, this goes back to why it's important to pay good black artists, tattoo artists, because these are people who know how to put ink and make ink look good on black skin. And there are some, some non-black uh, artists who definitely know how to do that as well. But it is important to put money in the pockets of good black tattoo artists. Because again, they know and they have proficiency to put good tattoos that last long, that are gonna look good, whether they're when they're first done, when they're healed. Good color artists, like they are going to know how to put those things on black skin to make sure they look good. It, Cause it's just like, again, and there was another there's another one, this guy that got this this Benjamin Franklin tattoo. Uh you, you can probably find it on the internet. Again. If your tat man is a good guy, he's doing good work, you've known him for a long time, it's okay to cut corners. If, and if they are allowing you to cut corners, it is okay to cut corners. But otherwise, you can't, man. It's like Fabo did not scream Barbara at the end of of Tatted Up. For us, just get, for us to out here be getting these terrible tattoos, we got to do better. We got to do better for Fabo. We got to do better for Barbara. We got to do better for Oprah. We gotta do better for Martha. We gotta do better for everybody that he named on that song. We gotta get better tattoos. So again, if you have a tat man, I think that's okay, but don't cut corners with the tattoos. Also, it's I think we we again a lot of these rappers. If you get up closer with their tattoos, a lot of their tattoos not knocking them because tattoos tattoos are subjective. One person may love the tattoo, one person may hate it, but. I don't think a lot of these rappers are the go-to for tattoos, but they may be for you, but hey.
I really had like four tattoo artists. Um, Sonny was the main guy. Sonny unfortunately passed away. He did most of the tattoos on my right arm and on my left arm. And he did a few of them on my leg. Like he did the Aqua Teen Hunger Force, the pig with the Dexter, uh, the Bowie, and some other stuff. And I even have this tattoo uh, on my on my leg that's just kind of like a semblance of him. Because um, he really liked sharks. But yeah, he passed away, unfortunately. Uh, and he was a really good guy, good tattoo artist. And then most of the tattoos that are on my left leg were done by uh, Tattoo Jesus, really good tattoo artist, really good artist in general. Uh, he's in the Detroit area, feel free to check him out. Uh, I've included a link to his Instagram pages, uh, his art page and his regular tattoo page. But yeah, check him out, a good tattoo artist. And peace out, thank you. Ooh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>